So there's a saying that where logic ends, Bosnia and Herzegovina begins. Now this is probably the funniest and truest thing I've ever heard about a country, but it is what makes it beautifully unique. I mean, they have three presidents for each ethnic group. I've only heard of craziness like in some other country I can't remember. Who's a good boy? Huh? What? But then again, I can't really talk because in the US, we say we only have one president, but currently we're kind of acting like we have two. So I probably should shut up. Maria, you can take over. Yeah. <laughs> but now, if we just look at the character of Sarajevo as a city, there is so much to see, but even more that is overlooked. Surrounded by beautiful landscapes and mountains, this city has a huge Ottoman influence as well as Austro-Hungarian and communist architecture, but it's the people that make it unique. Now the people can seem cold like New Yorkers, but don't let that fool you. They are super friendly, hospitable, love to gossip. But the one trait that I haven't seen anywhere to this extent is how apologetic they are. And I mean super apologetic whenever they make any kind of mistake. However, there is still this tension that exists in the atmosphere. As Laila said, there is three ethnic groups in Bosnia. You have the Bosniaks, who are the Muslim Bosnian. Then you have the Croats, who are the Catholic Bosnians, and the Orthodox Serbs. Now there is a lot of this tension that comes from the scars of war. And there are monuments and images all over Sarajevo that reminds us of World War I and II and the big Bosnian war that happened between 1992 and 1995. So the truth is, a lot of these wounds are still fresh. The number of children that lost their lives is heartbreaking, many of whom would be around our age if they were still with us. You have people that are living today as neighbors who were upon opposing sides of the war aiming to kill each other. So the amount of diversity that coexists here is a beautiful thing. However, the lack of trust within it is where the tension lies. Now, most Bosnians prefer not to talk about what happened in the past. They just rather sweep it under the rug. But when you have a problem and you don't talk about it, things don't get solved. They just get hidden. Now, Bosnians work together regardless of their ethnic group, and they all have friends from different groups. But since the Bosnian war, mixed marriages and romantic relationships, they're hard to find. Our guide comes from a mixed family, and he shares some of the hard situations that bring within the family and society. Yet, he's proud to say he comes from a mixed marriage. Now, I know this might be a difficult thing to do for some when visiting Bosnia and Herzegovina, because we're all so defensive these days. But think about the mentality of others before you judge, because the closest I've ever come to war is 9-11 and playing Call of Duty. So I'm privileged to say I know nothing of war. But there are survivors here that are kids, teenagers, and young adults that grew up in that. Even the gentleman that gave us our tour spoke to us about PTSD and how he doesn't like loud noises or fireworks because they remind him of the bombings. I know there's a lot of things that this country has to work on, but I just hope that mental health isn't the one that gets lost or forgotten. Now, don't think for a second that the people of Sarajevo are weak. As a matter of fact, our guide told us the story that during wartime, his mom would dress up with high heels and everything to go outside because she loved this photo of a woman taken during the war times, and she wanted to make sure that in case that she was photographed, she was at her best. The second reason was to show their strength. And regardless that the buildings was falling and the damage was happening, they wanted to show that their spirits would be the last thing to fall. We wanted to meet with people from each group to hear their stories and to learn how they were able to move forward after the wars. But unfortunately, due to timing and scheduling, we were unable to gather everyone. But we are looking forward to going back to Bosnia and Herzegovina to learn more from you Bosnians. So if you want to share your story and you live in Bosnia and Herzegovina, please reach out to us, email us so we can be in contact. And... Mama,